there aren't too many places in the city of Madison that you can find jack pine, Pinus banksiana. And that's really no surprise. The tree has an extremely scraggly appearance, so it doesn't have much in the way of ornamental value. It doesn't really have a whole lot of economic value either. But ecologically, jack pine is a very interesting tree. Jack pine dominates on dry, sandy sites known as barrens that are fire prone. So this jack pine specimen is in not very good condition and the needles are very high up, but I found some needles on the ground to show you what they look like. Jack pine has its needles in fascicles of two. Do you remember what other pine in Wisconsin has needles in fascicles of two? In jack pine, the needles are very short. They're usually less than two inches long, and that helps you distinguish it from the only other species of pine in Wisconsin that has two needles per fascicle, the red pine. Here are the cones of jack pine. Now, jack pine is a very fire tolerant species. In fact, it needs fire to reproduce, to regenerate, because the cones are serotonous. When they're young on the tree, they're closed by resin that holds them together, and exposed to heat or to fire, they begin to open. So this is a closed cone, a partially open cone, and a totally open cone I found on the ground. So heat will open them. Notice that the cones of the jack pine are reflexed. This is a nice characteristic for identifying them. And in jack pine, they're reflexed toward the tips of the branches, unlike a commonly commercial species that's planted known as Scots pine, where the cones look similar but are reflexed back toward the trunk. Jack pine's cones persist for a long time on the tree, opening with heat to release their seeds. Jack pines are very light demanding and need open ground to regenerate hence the reliance on fire.